Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, for allowing me to take part in the short duration discussion moved by the Honorable MLA from Umbroi. Sir, blood bank is one of the concerns which uh, you have seen in recent times, and I would like, thank, I would like to thank the department and the government uh, that the blood bank in Nongstone uh, Civil Hospital has opened and is fully functional now. I would like to thank the government for considering the upgradation of Rambrai PAC to CAC and some sub-centers also has come up in my constituency but the work needs to be speed up and we require more of these uh, health facilities in the border areas. <coughs> so the trauma center in West Hasils need to be set up immediately and the shortage of doctors especially in the state and especially in my constituency, there are no doctors which has been appointed. I would like the department and the government to look into it so that the people does not suffer and they don't need to go to Northstone or come to Shillong for the treatment, sir. So with these few submissions, I resume my statement. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir. I will be uh, brief uh, about the subject that I'm bringing in, sir. Uh, the present conditions of health in the state of Mughal. <coughs> sir, first of all, I would like to thank the government for uh, all the works that they are doing, especially our Chief Minister, for the upgradations of PHC at Kerapara to CHC, which was a long dream of the people of Kerapara, and then upgradations of uh, PHCs and then sub centers uh, like Sakabolangri, Darangri, Chengapara, Gambegri, Bolchugri, Posangagri, Chisakri, Sakaboldangri. All this area has been upgraded, uh, especially for the uh, pregnant woman to take care. But, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, I would like to again request <coughs> in certain areas, like for example, I've been attending to lots of uh, cancer patients from my constituency. Sometimes, uh, whenever we send our patients to the hospital, sometimes they don't have the, uh, this chemo which was given to the uh, cancer patients. So we have to get it from the private hospitals or from the private pharmacies. So these are the problems that we are facing, Mr. Speaker, sir. And then one day what happened is that one boy, he was a very young boy, he was already treated, operated and completed. But the fact is that when we are supposed to give him the radiations, on that particular moment, the, that radiology that, uh, the, that was to, uh, taking that particular, uh, that, uh, we call it radiology, so? Radiology, so. That radio, uh, that radio, radio no, no, not oncologist, the person who took care of the thing. The radiologist was not there. So that way he, like, he waited, he waited, but at the end he has to succumb. So these are the areas, I think, if the radiologist, uh, who are giving the treatment to the cancer patients uh, needed to be appointed more. When they are on holiday or maybe on some kind of a suffering, I think there should be, uh, uh, you know, others to replace them. On the other hand, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, whenever uh, we talk about the MHIs, I ain't been after these MHIs from very long time, Mr. Speaker, sir. Now, it seems like there is a flow in design or maybe this MHI has, is cunningly designed in such a way that the patients are, or the card holders are not getting all the freedom. Now, for example, we have given five lakhs for the card holder. But the fact is that whenever any kind of diseases arise to the family, sir, only certain amounts are deducted. Now, it seems like it's not the, you know, the patients or the card holder or the family who is getting the benefit out of it. It seems like the design in such a way, it's the company who is getting the benefit out of it, more than the, you know, more than the uh, public, more than the people. Now, I was so happy that this is the area where we can, you know, like uh, help the poorer people who cannot afford to go to, you know, who, uh, even the private uh, hospitals. Last time, one of my patients was admitted in super care hospital where we don't have certain kind of a, a surgery. So 
surgeons, a certain surgery has to be done in the private hospital. When I send them, and then like the bill came out around like 2.50 like that. And then from the MHIs, they can cut only 30,000, whereas the rest of the payment I have to pay from my own pocket. So this way, if the 5 lakhs was given, why not wholly? So I want the Honorable Chief Minister to relook into this framework if it can be fully because it's like taking away the fundamental rights of that family itself. Therefore, I would like to request the government to relook into this particular design. Not only certain diseases can be you know, carried out uh, to look after the patients, but this particular uh, aim of giving the insurance should be wholly for that particular family only, Mr. Speaker, sir. Now we, have, now we are having a lots of cancer patients within our state. One minute. But there is only one or two oncologists. So if our government can think of contemplating more to bring the oncologist specialists within our state and the radiologists, I think it would have a better, you know, uh, it will be better for the people of the Meghalaya, people from the state. Now, another thing is that, Mr. Speaker, sir, now lots of children have suffered of this pneumonia and has been, uh, you know, uh, they have already succumbed from 2001 to 2000. Okay, Mr. Speaker, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I would like to urge if there is any kind of a mechanism to curb the pneumonia, which is, you know, uh, we, uh, which disease is killing our children. Uh, I want uh, our government to look into this matter seriously. With this few words, Mr. Speaker, sir, I resume a seat. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.